So you guys remember him. His name is George Zhang, also a notorious cocaine cowboy, portrayed in the movie. I want to say it was Penelope Cruz, um, and he was he was portrayed by Johnny Depp. He is being released from prison after serving 20 years. Zhang is now 71 and got into the coke game in the mid 90s. In the mid 70s, excuse me, after being arrested for dealing marijuana and linking up in prison with Pablo Escobar and the big cartel Escobar. They are responsible for almost 70% of all the cocaine sales that happened in the United States of America during that time period. But because of good behavior, Zhang is getting out of jail. Um, you know, he got served, he had a 60 year sentence, he served 21 of those years, this, that, and the third. But the, the truth of the matter here is on this one, um, for me, is that there's so many individuals that are locked up behind bars for drug use or drug sales, right? And just because, you know, Mr. Zhang was made famous and he was sort of paraded around as this cocaine cowboy, look at me, hear me roar, and he's sort of seen as this, like, you know, business mogul, it doesn't escape the fact that there's so many individuals who didn't get that spotlight who are still in jail serving ridiculously long sentences. They're serving all 60 of their years because they can, one, can't afford an attorney, or two, because our, our justice system is so broken that because he was selling cocaine and not crack, right, he has a less, he has a, le, you know, he has a smaller time in jail. And I don't know why I feel as though today more than any other day, I'm really sort of calling to the fact that, yeah, we have some serious problems and ailments in our justice system, but I gotta tell you folks, this stuff is crazy. It's absolutely insane to me that we have individuals in our system who have sold less drugs, have done less harm to our society than this guy, who are still locked behind bars because of mandatory minimums, because of three strike laws, because of all this crazy stuff creating during the Reagan era, that we haven't done anything to correct. And the will, I gotta tell you, the people want it. The will in Washington is almost there. But we have a Congress in Washington that will do nothing to end some of these mandatory sentences. We need to work on it. We need to work on it, America. We need to work on it.